Holidays, tradition, family. Join us as the magic of the season comes to life. Lights Before Christmas, sponsored by Key Bank. Good evening. Welcome to the 35th annual Lights Before Christmas at the Toledo Zoo. I'm Melissa Andrews. And I am Jordan Strack. Personally, I really love that little open. You saw, I got to see my daughter in it, so it made me very happy. Yes. You, were, you had your kids here, too. It was great to see you guys here kind of in passing when we were filming that and kind of get to see the lights before we reveal them tonight. We got to see the tree all lit up, and it looks a little bit different this year. Every, they've added something. Everything about this year looks a little <laughs> different. I, I think we all understand that, but here's the good news. We're going to be very safe. We're going to be able to do this. And we are so fortunate in Northwest Ohio to be able to have the very best zoo lights in the entire country. Yes, I said it. The very best zoo lights in the entire country uh, right here in our backyard. It's very cool. Yeah, and you can make your voice heard on that. There's a big contest with USA Today going on. The zoo is going for their third try at uh, winning the best zoo lights. They've won it in the past, so we're going to have more on that coming up. Our teams are spread out throughout the zoo, and we're beginning to really see a lot of people trickle in here. The zoo's limited the amount of people who can be here tonight. That was by reservation only. Yep. But still, there's plenty of room out here at the zoo to be safe here tonight. Absolutely. And the other thing is, everybody has a facial covering as they come in. When you're getting to the winter, though, it's okay. we want to have the facial covering on. It's going to be chilly tonight, though. It's absolutely picture perfect. I don't know that we could have drawn up better weather for Lights Before Christmas than we, we did this year. I honestly don't remember a time at the Toledo <laughs> Zoo, uh, Christmas lights, the lights before Christmas, that it's been so warm outside. Do want to talk to you about the social distancing. Obviously, Lucas County uh, put a stay-at-home advisory into effect just a couple days ago. Still, we are out here socially distanced outdoors at the zoo. We did talk to the health commissioner today who's been working closely with the zoo to make sure that everything stay safe here as you visit tonight. I think this week I've talked to somebody from the zoo at least three times. Um, you know, uh, my staff members have been talking with them as well, trying again to, to tweak plans and make sure we're all on the same page. You know, they're enforcing the masks, they're enforcing social distancing. So again, it, it's very safe. And that is the most important part of all of this. Everybody is going to try to stay safe while we're out here. You've got the facial coverings. Everybody understands we need to space out. And here at the zoo, that's the beautiful part of this. We're outdoors and we can all space out. Yeah, we want to be able to enjoy the holiday with our direct family members for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. So we are keeping it safe tonight. And at the big tree lighting, usually a crowd gathers with Santa. Santa's not going to be here tonight. He is going to be spreading cheer elsewhere. But at the zoo tonight, we have... Tim and uh, Robert over at the big Norway Spruce. How's it looking over there, guys? Hey, Melissa and Jordan, we are doing great. We are waiting for that big moment in a little over an hour from now. We're going to see that 85 foot Norway Spruce light up. 35,000 lights, Robert. What an amazing night for people to come out. We're not freezing for yeah, once, right? Yeah, everyone's talking about the weather because mm -hmm. today, well, the record high today is 71. Wow. Not, we haven't been too far from it this afternoon. But I still feel like when it's really cold, you sort of get in the spirit of the holiday. <laughs> exactly. It's still working. It's still working today. And this, early this morning, they had some of the lights on when we were here live. So it still felt like, you know, the Christmas season and Thanksgiving. So we're going to do this tonight. And yeah. this tree is going to look amazing. And we do have, as Jordan mentioned, mm -hmm. people are spread out. We do have people kind of gathering here. This is the place really to be in about an hour from now, but we're so glad we're still able to do this, right? Oh, absolutely. This is kind of the center of it. And, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to weather, tonight is so great. And the weekend is going to change so much. There's even a chance <laughs> of snow this weekend. But we'll talk about uh, that coming up a little bit in a little bit. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, and one more thing we need to remind you, you do need a reservation to get into the lights before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Every day on your on the website, you can find out how many they have left. Got to get those reservations. Sure. Well, you can check our 10-day forecast right. and then plan accordingly for your reservation. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. There you go. Right. Build it right around the forecast. Mm -hmm. We have a whole team built throughout the zoo here tonight, a team of reporters. This is a fun night for everybody. We want to get out to our Kaylee Kirby now, who is uh, kind of roaming the zoo right now. Kaylee, how is it where you are? 
Uh, I mean, we'll start right with the weather. I am so glad that I don't have to have a jacket on right now. That may change, you know, over the next hour or so. But I remember last year having to have a jacket and some gloves on. So I'm excited that I don't have that. I'm right here. Kind of once you get off the zoo, every family comes by here, takes pictures, you know, with the big letters that spell out zoo right here over at Flamingo Key. Definitely see that excitement from those kids coming in. I see them run down this ramp and right up to the zoo to the zoo letters to take a picture. So it's definitely an exciting time family waving at you right now. Uh, so there this is that entrance right before they had to see those lights that are really lighting up right now. Now that the sun is beginning to go down. So I'll be roaming the zoo. I'll be around seeing what what all the lights look like talking to those families and seeing how how it is for them definitely in these different times compared to what we've been used to, but should still be an exciting night. We're going to check in with Amy. Amy, where are you at right now? Hey, Kaylee, I'm over at the Broadway entrance at the zoo and we have a brand new attraction. I guess you can call it an attraction this year. These horses Pickles and Gunner are straight from New York City. You can take a carriage ride around Wallbridge Park and you can see we've got crowd two families right there. We're super excited. Uh, they were petting the horses earlier, but these horses are honestly really getting antsy. So we're going to send them off. Go ahead, guys. They're going to go around the park. The rides are just about 10, 15 or so minutes. It's $10 a ticket um, and you can buy those tickets right here at the Broadway entrance. Oh, Pickles is getting a little antsy, but here he goes. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna continue to kind of check in with these crowds, roam about the zoo, so you, show you a couple other things that we've got going on this year. I'm gonna send it over to my colleague, Emma Henderson, who's out there in Defender. Hello, Emma. Thanks, Amy. We are right by the entrance, so we're seeing everyone coming in, getting excited for those lights, getting ready to see them for the first time in a year or maybe for the first time ever. So we're actually here with the Martinez family. Now, this is a family tradition. You are here with your great grandkids today, and you've been coming since your children were little. So why don't you tell us, you guys come every year. What are you looking forward to most right now? The Christmas tree. Yeah, so really that tree lighting is what everyone's here waiting for. And now this is a small portion of your family. You guys made reservations and um, got a lot of you guys coming in. So what does this event mean to your family every year? We look forward to it every year. It's just the way it is. It's beautiful. I mean, it's the yeah, way the lights are. Just being with everybody as long as we can. Oh, and then she wanted to say something. So it's just a special family tradition for you guys being around everybody, being with everyone. Yeah. Well, they are still waiting on a few more family members to come here. So for now, we are going to toss it back to you, Jordan and Mel, to let us know what other exciting things we can expect from tonight. All right, Emma, thanks so much. I think as we went, we like whipped around the whole zoo. The carriage rides really stood out to me. I thought that looked really fun. It really puts you in the festive spirit, but yes. we're also beginning to see all of the lights as it gets darker. And I really like these ones behind you, kind of a rainbow deal. And we have the icicles behind us. There's plenty to see, but right now everyone's really enjoying seeing the animals while it's still light out. Yeah, I don't know. You can't pick favorites. It's like asking what's your favorite kid. Like, you can't do it. It's all my favorite. I know, I like love flamingos, all of there's and a that, tiger. That, and the drip and the, the whole thing. I, lo I actually <laughs> like the zoo sign right back That's here. That's really cool. The whole thing. You can kind of see it too, yeah. The whole so if thing you can't really join us tonight, you can make your reservation to come on out through the season. For now, we are going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more uh, Lights Before Christmas at the Toledo Zoo, presented by Key Bank. <laughs> 